So if you didn't know already, there is a new entertainment news service called Puck News. It's been out there for about a year. Uh, it's a startup company, uh, and they pluck some pretty awesome talent from the legacy traits. Puck is different because rather than being on a website or making a print version, uh, it's almost all email-based, and then they also have a podcast. And one of the great talents that they plucked from The Hollywood Reporter is Matt Bellany, who is a former uh, entertainment attorney, I believe, where he has that training. And then he's been, you know, a top flight entertainment journalist. And it just so happens that in his latest email, he has a very interesting breakdown about the future of the talent uh, representation world, agents, managers, all of that. Uh, he has a pretty succinct you know, sort of breakdown of what uh, Paul and I were talking about the other day with uh, the packaging fees and how now that is over with. And it is an interesting insight into the relationship that uh, talent agents and managers have with their clients and how they have different values and how sometimes they, they might not be necessary. You might not need them. And it made me think about how most people don't understand how fully represented talent, you know, how much their reps take. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And it made me think that maybe some people in on TikTok need to hear that getting represented is not the beginning of Easy Street. It's not the beginning of all your problems going away and work all of a sudden being much, much easier to get. The number of people I know who are represented at one of the big three talent agencies and still have like non-film jobs that help support them is a lot.